99 won the whale free zone in the morning i'm jim free joined in the studio by two beautiful ladies we have uh, amy shaw the race director what what was that you guys <laughs> sorry, nobody else called you beautiful in the building yet today come on uh we have amy shaw here she's the uh, race director for the bridge run amy how are you i'm great thanks for having me no problem good seeing you again and judy hess from the chamber of commerce here hi judy how are you i'm good how are you very good now you guys are here to talk to us about the bridge run uh the eighth annual huh yeah, I mean, it's hard to believe that, um, God, for the past eight years, we've been running this race and thousands of people uh, participate each year as spectators and runners. And it really is um, such a scenic race that highlights our beautiful downtown, our rivers, our bridges, the south and west side. So we're so um, proud to have continued this tradition for so long. Okay. And uh, when when actually is it? Uh, so this year, uh, we're looking at Sunday, May 6th. Uh, the half marathon kicks off at 7.30 a.m., bright and early. Uh, 5K at 10 a.m. Um, we have a kid's run at 10.45. So how, how long is a kid's run? <laughs> well. <laughs> like, is it like a block? You're, two blocks, know, maybe? kid's run, Jim. A, a few miles. No. <laughs> a few miles. <laughs> no, I'm thinking if it's a block, I might be able to do that. I don't know. No, I think I think we could count you in this year because okay. we're actually we're doing something a little bit different. Um, Excellus is sponsoring our kids zone with inflatables this year. And um, the kids run is around the bases on the field with Rowdy. That. So I'd probably trip and fall. But that's beside <laughs> we thought that would just be something cool and different. Um, I know kids can run across the field, but, um, you know, they get to actually run around the bases this time. Nice. OK. And uh, so I saw here where there's uh, something new, the uh, two person half marathon. Really? Yes. Um, the half marathon itself is 13.1 miles. So if that's a little bit too much for one person, you can partner with a friend. And uh, that race is sponsored by UHS. Okay. So each one would run about six and a half miles. So that makes it a little more manageable for people that are building up their endurance. So we're excited to have that. They'll run at the same time as the, the, um, the full uh, half marathon participants, but they'll just kind of have a breaking point over on the south side um, by the pedestrian bridge is where they'll hand off. This has to be tough to map all this. I mean, great. It's the eighth year, so you probably have it down to a point. But now you add something like this. this I know. Has to I, we're crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it um, You know, it, it takes a village to put this race on. It mm. really is massive. And we are so thankful to the city of Binghamton, the, the fire department, the police department, emergency services, um, you know, Broome County Emergency Services, UHS, Lords. You know, everybody, They ha we have to figure out where are we going to put road marshals and um, emergency medical service support and what roads are we blocking off. And, you know, it, it really is a massive undertaking, and we couldn't do it with all of those partners. Okay. Um, GHS has been with us for several years as a title sponsor, and the Rumble Ponies just, we wouldn't be able to do it without their support and without the stadium because everything's just built right around there. So we're really grateful to GHS and the Rumble Ponies as well. Okay, so where does the race actually start? So we actually start and finish right um, at at, in front of Niceg Stadium okay. on Henry Street. We actually uh, have a new finish line on Henry Street. We used to finish on Fayette, kind of the side entrance of the stadium, but we've moved our post-race festivities over to the the main parking lot of Niceg Stadium. So we're finishing on Henry Street and filtering people over there. And we actually have um, a, a fun thing that we're doing at the finish line this year. Yeah, we're going to have a party tent at the finish line sponsored by the IVI group. I saw and this. Uh, yeah, there's going to be live music and beer from Beer Tree. So we're really excited. So, so if I run in the kids race, can I still get the beer? <laughs> Absolutely. Sweet. Sign me up. <laughs> I'm good to go. 21 and older, you're good. <laughs> So, again, this is uh, the bridge run. It's taking place on uh, May 6th, which, you know, hopefully the weather will be nice by then. I'm sure it will be. It's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> We're about two and a half weeks away. <laughs> there you go. And uh, what about, the, like, all the, the packet pickup and all that? What, what yeah. information can you tell us? Yeah. Soon? So um, our expo sponsor is Worldwide Sports Supply, and they're actually hosting packet pickup right at their new building um, on Old Vestal Road. We added a Friday night packet pickup. Um, for those that are not able to make it on Saturday, Friday 4 to 8 p.m., Saturday 10 to 4. We do uh, close online registration for the race on Wednesday, May 2nd. Um, however, you can sign up on Friday or Saturday at Packet Pickup. Unfortunately, uh, we just can't accommodate race day registration, so at the latest would be Saturday. 
Well, that sounds good. And uh, again, with all the sponsors and stuff, you want to run through them again because I mean that it takes a lot to uh, put this on, and I'm sure like the financial support and the volunteers from these organizations Absolutely, definitely. Absolutely, yeah. Because uh, like Amy was saying, it taking a village. I mean, we also need a lot of volunteers, and they do supply some. But if people in the community are interested in being a part and they're not a runner, they can go to BinghamtonBridgeRun.org and they can register volunteers as well. But our sponsors, like our uh, GHS and Rumble Ponies, are our title sponsors. And then Lords Ascension and uh, Jack Sherman Toyota are our gold sponsors. And then UHS is the sponsor of the half marathon, Excellus for the kids run and the fun zone, IBI for the finish line. Um, the beer sponsor is Beer Tree. And then the event sponsor is also Hue and Worldwide. Okay, cool. So, again, if people want to sign up, can they sign up now? Yeah, absolutely. Go to BinghamtonBridgeRun.org, and there's a register now button right on our website. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, um, Binghamton Bridge Run. Uh, there's a register now button. So, yep, sign up. It's not too late. We're kind of doing a final push for registration so we can get all those shirts ordered and ready in time for race day. Okay. And it, what does it benefit this year? We're really excited. We've had a charity partner every year, and this year it's the Retired Firefighters Cancer Fund. Amy was talking earlier about how instrumental emergency services are, and Bill and Tricia Newland just do a great job with this uh, fund, and they've raised so much money over the years, but it's such a worthy cause, and we're so happy to be partnering with them for this particular event. All right, cool. So again, it's the Bridge Run. It's taking place uh, May 6th. Amy Shaw and Judy Hess, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Jim. And again, all the information could be found on the website, which is? BinghamtonBridgeRun.org. I was waiting. I thought you guys were going to do that in stereo. (laughs) (laughs) You both jumped at the mic at the same time. All right, ladies, thanks for coming in.